Hello, my name is Kimberly Hilton and welcome to my studio. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be watercolor painting with food coloring. And um, this is just a little experiment. I'm going to use the food coloring just like I would uh, use watercolor. So we'll see how that works out. I'm going to be painting a little campfire scene and um, I thought these colors would work nice for that and um, I'll just go over the materials that I'm using I'm using uh, just basic food coloring I've used regular food coloring before but this happens to be food coloring gel so um, that might be just a little different consistency but you can still use whatever kind of food coloring that you have um, and uh, they're just in the four basic colors and I'm using my old worn out paint brushes I don't want to use my really good paint brushes for this uh, dinner plate for a palette this stays in my art room <laughs> so make sure you don't get those mixed up with your um, dinner dishes um, I'm gonna be using these little uh, lids to water bottles as like little paint paint wells and uh, to squirt my watercolors down in it. I have a small piece of um, cotton watercolor paper. This one happens to be Arches 140 pound cold pressed. Um, it's actually a scrap piece of paper from there's another painting on the other side that I wasn't quite happy with so I just decided to repurpose the back side for this little experiment. So um, with, with those details out of the way I'm just going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to put um, each one of these colors a couple drops in um, those little bottle caps. That's the red. And now we'll do the blue. And these come out a little thicker than regular watercolor. Um, but they're the same as watercolor. So you could use either one. That's the green. They kind of look they kind of look the same. They're very dark in these um, little when they're uh, poured out but um, I'll have to try to remember which one's which so that's the yellow and it, it looks orange but when you dilute it it's yellow so um, I'm just gonna take another bottle cap I like to do this when I'm working wet on wet um, if I want to save out a white area for a light or the sun so what I do is I just put the um, bottle, bottle cap there and that acts as a guide that just shows keeps me from painting where I don't uh, want to or putting water where I don't want it to be but I'm just gonna go close to the bottle cap and um, cuz that's kind of where I want my fire to stay white so that when I paint the the whites of the fire in it's going to be really bright and then I'm just going to wet the rest of the page and like I said um, I'm doing I'm treating these watercolors just like they're I mean I'm treating the food coloring just like they're watercolors and um, we'll just see we'll just see how it works out so I'm going to take a uh, a little bit of yellow and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of blue and make or no first I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of red so that's very orange maybe I don't need to mix it with the red okay so and then I'll take is that the blue or the green I can't tell um, I need it I need something to swatch on. So this is the blue. Okay. It looks like a phthalo blue, doesn't it? Looks just like a phthalo blue. <laughs> I'm wondering if they used phthalo blue in food coloring. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, at least 
least this is non-toxic. So if you if you want to do this with your with your kids, um, that would be see. And then if you mix it with the yellow, you get a nice bright green. Um, I want to make a warm a warm blue that I can warmer than. Ooh, that's that's really dark. Oh, that looks like a turquoise now. Okay. So I'm going to put these out of the way. I want to get a really wet wash of this. I swear this looks like a phthalo turquoise now. That's really cool. Guys, this is, well, that turned it green. Okay. Let me start over. Look how pretty that is. Okay, I'm going to add a touch more of that blue. That's so pretty. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting carried away with uh, the color mixing, but um, Let's see, I want my brush to be really clean when I dip into that yellow. So I'm going to dip into some of this yellow first and I'm just going to paint around where I want the fire to be so it's going to be the warmest. And I hope that blue doesn't, doesn't get in there and uh, make it green. Maybe I should put some of the the red. Which one is the red? That's the red. Okay, I'm gonna put some red in this now. That's gonna help keep it from getting in the green. I'm gonna remove this. I don't want to get that into this. I should have had a third water cup. I'm just doing a blend. And now I'm going to go with some of that. That red made it so it wouldn't turn green. That is a beautiful, beautiful, almost like a teal, teal or turquoise color. This excites me. It makes me want to play with food coloring more. It feels like I'm working with watercolor. Okay, so um, I may take a little more blue and go over the outer bands to make it just a little bit darker. This is going to help the fire have a uh, kind of glowing effect to where it's warmer and gets cooler as it goes away from the fire. Okay, so um, I think it's a good time to let this dry, and um, then we'll come back and we'll paint in our flames. 
Okay, so that just took a couple of minutes. I turned it upside down because I thought it would might look better if the fire was um, further up just a little bit. So um, I'm just pressing the tape back down because the I'm getting food coloring on my fingers, but um, I just it the the tape had came up a little bit. I probably should have used a paper towel when I was pressing that down. It's on there pretty good. The food coloring has dried pretty good. Now I don't know how light fast food coloring is. Um, this isn't meant to be a masterpiece or anything that I'm gonna like want to say forever. But maybe you know who knows what it'll turn out like. But this is a lot of fun, and um, you could always cover it with um, some sealant or something. Okay, I'm looking for a clean brush to dip into the yellow, so that one's not really clean. Let me get out my other water pot. Oh god, this is handy. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip into the yellow and uh, water it down a little bit to make it more yellow. This is almost, it almost looks like a Hansa Yellow Deep color. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and draw where I want my, my wood logs to be. And I'm going to go ahead and paint in the highlight area because I want the highlight to be yellow. And um, now I'm going to start doing some flames. Now we're painting on dry paper now. So I'm just going to take some like little S shapes in this yellow paint, food coloring, and just uh, make curvy, curvy shapes. Maybe I'll have one coming up. Now I'm going to dip into some of that dark, well that's still yellow I think, I don't know if there's any red in that or not. Put some red in it. So, um I'm just using cheap materials here. I'm using a recycled um, watercolor uh, paper from an old painting and I'm using cheap food coloring and my very old <laughs> worn out cheap. A little bit of this red color and I'm gonna go back over these because I that green there just ain't working for me.
Okay, I'm gonna um, go on to making some landscaping elements. So I'm just gonna take that yellow and I'm just gonna just kind of paint in some uh, some ground kind of I'm doing this is kind of like a dry brush technique the paint's not really real wet and I'm just scumbling it over the the paper there and I'm dipping into that brown color that we made and I'm just gonna cover letting the um, a lot of that background wash show show through and that just kind of gives it more of a um, glow effect I think because um, you can the fire is going to be glowing on the ground as much as it's going to be glowing in the in the sky And I'm just using like greens and browns right now. And it's going to be the darkest away from the fire. maybe make it look like grasses okay guys um, so um, that is maybe I'll I don't know whether I want to add a tree I don't know Let's see. Let's add a tree. Make it look like it's in the woods. I'm going to mix up some more of a brown color. I don't even think I used the actual green color in this um, in this set. I only used the red, yellow, and blue. In just a minute we're gonna do we're gonna take it off the paint and do a big reveal I 
I should be switching to a smaller brush. And I'm gonna put a little bit of the yellow, let's see. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow on the um, side closer to the fire so it'll give it kind of a glow to that wood. I'm surprised to see what how this would look if I use better brushes. But um I'm, I'm about to the point where I'm just going to call it done and um, this video could go a lot longer but you get the point. Uh, let's see. I'm just having fun. Alrighty. That's, um, that's going to be it. My paintbrush is disintegrating. Let's uh, go ahead and take a little, take a little brush and at least initial it. And then I'm going to take the tape off and kind of see how it looks. This is one of the most satisfying parts. Okay, so this, uh, it, it may, uh, I don't know if it'll lighten or not if it wants it dries, but um, that's how it looks. I think it's cute. It's um, very bright colors, very vivid, very bright colors. Um, it was fun to paint and um, I think maybe uh, I will try to play around with some more food coloring and see um, if there's any other things I could paint. And I might even try to find a couple better brushes to use. But I hope you enjoyed this little um, painting uh, demo. And um, if, you, if you like this video or if you thought it was interesting and you have any comments you'd like to leave me, I'd, I'd love to hear what you think. And um, please like and subscribe to this channel. And um, I'll see you next time. Happy painting.